Blessed love, blessed love. How good and pleasant it is to be here again. By the grace of the Most High, to be standing in front of my viewers and subscribers again for another day. So let me first give thanks and praise unto the Father, His Majesty the King, that we have to bless the channel for His protection and His love over each and every one, family and friends, children, dear children, and all loved ones. We give him praise each and every day and glorify him. And continue asking him to protect us and guide us on our going out and coming in. And to protect us from people who comes around us who may want to do us harm. Ask him to show us the light. Continually be with us. Do nothing without putting him first. Because without him, you ain't nothing. So welcome to How Can I Help Speak on this channel. And this is Murphy. And tonight, what we're going to talk about? Well, we're going to speak a little bit about crime and violence. But before I do that, I want to play a song. Now, most of the youth them may not know this song, girls and boys. Most of, some of them may know it. Most of them may hear their parents play it on Sundays because these songs, these music come like, will not come in like they are Sunday music now and good time music. So listen to this. And I'll be back here in a bit. Yes, people. So that's Mr. Leroy Smart. Badness no pay. 
So, you know, I want to say, brother, sister, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, cousins, uncles, all those family members and good friends. Now my parents always say if you do the crime, especially my mom, you're supposed to do the time. And all this killing and all this shooting, all this stabbing up and all this robbery and all these things that's going on. I just want to put it out there. I don't support no, none of those things. I don't deal with it. I don't support it. And I don't want it around me. I will not support no family member. Whether it's my children, brothers or sisters or whatever, that do any kind of crime. I am not one of the people. Who support those things now the reason why I decided to do this video tonight over the years people seems to support some people seem to support crime and violence and I noticed lately a lot of people seem to support violence against women And it's not nice. Not only women, but you have all old people too. And young youths, youth man will grow up. This violence and crime that's going on, it needs to stop. It's supposed to stop. I don't see the benefits that you get from killing someone. Unnecessary killing. It's not like you're killing someone who did something to your family member or to you or whatever the case may be. Kill people for no reason. And the young ones them too. Want take over neighborhoods. Want them say you are run things. But you're not running nothing because it's only for a time because you will get caught you definitely will get caught all these people are profound all them violence and crime you will get caught i believe in people working for what they want no the, the system set up at a certain way yes and i understand that so some people decide say by any means necessary no it shouldn't be that way because i shouldn't go out and work every day or five days a week eight hours a day some people work more some people do two jobs three jobs to make ends meet and as my mom would say another one from out of her book don't worry about ends meeting as long as they can see each other and wave. You're doing good. But there's people who want to stop you. Who want you to end up just like them and doing the things that they're doing because that's what's going to happen. You hurt me, me I go hurt you back or somebody for me I go hurt you. And where does it stop? Where, where, where does it end? Where does it end? These shooting, these robbery, all these things that's going on. Killing everything. For what? Some people are doing these things and they don't have no reason. No reason on the face of God hurt. Why they're doing these things. You rob. But why do you have to kill the person when you rob them? Take what you want and go on. Why do you have to take the person's life? So if every time you rob someone, 
and you take their life. There ain't going to be nobody left for you to rob because you're going to kill everybody. You're going to kill everyone. So even you, the rubber out there, don't have no sense. What I do? No, I know there's times, sometimes I say things that I know a lot of people don't agree with. But you see, the truth, it hurts. It brings an offense to anger. But let the truth set you free. I beg the most I every day I talk to him to keep me sane and to keep me on the path that he had me on. Make me not red eye or envy or covetous to anyone. Make me not get up and just do unnecessary things. For no reason at all. Viewers and subscribers, if some of you know me, you will know that I'm a type of person. I love my house. I love my house. And here comes another one from my parents' book, from my mother's book. When you have too much time on your hand, you can get yourself, you get yourself in a trouble. Get yourself in a trouble. Find something to do. Keep your mind occupied. Don't sit down and be and just let the depressed take you over that you would put your depression from someone else. Look at that little girl, that young lady. I keep calling her a little girl because to me, a father, that's what she is. That's what I see her as. A little girl. And I know her mother and her father, our mother and her father see her the same way. The little girl, Chantel. For no reason they killed that little girl. And more before her. And it haven't stopped yet. When I listen to the Jamaican news, all I can hear is just bad. Over 600 murder already in the island. Over 600 already. A lot of people keep talking. Big up yourself, Ninja Man. A lot of people keep saying we're supposed to come back home. Yes, I believe in that. Because it, your wet name, home. But not everybody going to do it. Because people are looking at the life that they're going to live and what's going to happen to them trying to live that life. Because as far as how it's going, you don't have to be showing off on no one or whatever it is. A man just get up and just feel like, say, you have a doll and him don't have it. He might come take yours. And if you try to defend your own, he might take your life. You're not supposed to be living in your country, your island, and living in exile. You're supposed to feel free. A lot of people leave home, wherever they're from, and travel to foreign country to make something of themselves. A lot of them turn out foolish. A lot of them don't do anything. A lot of them turn their back. But there's a lot who didn't turn their back and still not turning their back. But the crime and the violence it's keeping a lot of people away. People, you have to understand, a lot of us are not living in Jamaica. And not that there's no violence and crime where we are. But it's, you know, and we understand the two different, two different places. We understand that. Two different environment. We understand that. But we have to take a look. It's going from bad to worse. Things that I've never heard about or never experienced or hear or anything back home, I'm hearing it now. It's like there's a set of cannibal. 
and I for one to the way how Jamaica is and to the amount of different different race and different different people. I don't know who is doing these things. I don't know who is doing these things. But I call upon the, the Prime Minister, Mr. Holness. I call upon the Minister and all the MP and all the Mayor and the Council and everything. Keep working with the neighborhood, keep working with the people, keep trying, we know it hard. But we need some stiff, 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 stiff judgment for them people. We need to, you need to put some fear in them that them. Some people will say them can't, you can't put no fear in them kind of people. But something needs to be done. So when time them think about doing what them did I would do and change their mind because the penalty Jamaica is my home I love Jamaica when I retire I would love to go home and can relax that is my intention I don't want to go home and have to be worried about who will run, jump through my fence or jump over my yard or you know who will come to kill me or whatever it is because yes, foreigner come and wear, wear, wear. I don't want that. I am the type of person from the day I've been growing up, I grew up with love. I listen to everything that my parents tell me. I may not do it, but I listen. And my mother, she put the fear of God into me. And I ain't afraid to tell no one. I am afraid of the police. I am afraid of the police. I am afraid to go to jail. I must be one of the, 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 the as we used to call it back home, afraid, afraid, most afraid, afraid person you can think of when it comes to me not in it. Me not in it. Me not in a serious joke. And some people take that for joke. And it's like nothing to them. Me not in it. Like the Leroy Smart said, badness not pay. It's only for a little while. Because you have to keep looking behind you. You don't know if when you leave your house, you're going to make it back home. You always have to walk with your steel. Or your knife or whatever it is. And like my brethren, Rapper Crapper says, like some people have some trouble tree in them backyard. Them just get up a morning time and just pick trouble. And just say, all right, I put five, like them pick mango, I put, pick five trouble this morning. And then pick five people and them go to the road and make trouble with the five people. Some things I say may sound like joke, but it ain't no joke, man. It's not no joke. Life too nice. And some people may say, oh, because you have it good. No. I'm going to do some video and tell you about my life some more. But I love to live. And as long as there's life in this body, I will keep fighting for survival. And it's truth and right and justice and all these things. Whew. My favorite Jamaican people, love and bad. My viewers and subscribers, subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys give me this force and this drive. Like I said, the little, from the day I, I start this channel to the little subscriber, to the little subscriber, to the little subscriber, and I see the channel keep growing and keep growing and keep growing. Today, the 22nd of June, new subscriber again. I have to do a video where I have to send out some special thanks and so forth, but I don't want to just mention two names. I want to 
read out all the names them and give everybody respect. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for put up, putting up with my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will continue to use this platform that I have to deal with truths and rights. All right? So with that said, this is how can I help speak on this. And this is Murphy. Peace, love, and happiness. God is good, and without him, we are nothing. Murphishas and Murfettes. Murphy got love for you, ladies. Bless up yourself. Oh, my bad. Before I go, I want to play this. Play them song one more time. All right. And until my next video, stay safe. said mother father sister brother it doesn't matter who friend family I don't care who it is I don't support no crime no violence if you do the crime if you do the time bottom line no 
okay? If you have to defend yourself and do some time, I understand. If you can walk away from it, try that first. You better. No care who say you're pumped, them say if you fight and run away, you will live for fight one another day. Maybe the next day would be better a better fight than the day than today. Alright? Peace out. Love.